the uh, Talker Rev, as we all know, chambered in actual 762 by 25. See if it stops it, or if I can hit it. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. No, you did, dude. Come on, you're uh, cool. You got this, brother. Well, I gotta reload the bag. Remember, we got some guns, and you said you got these from Amazon. Amazon. All right, so they're the. 3A and they're for 44 mag up to 44 mag. That's what 3A is supposed to stop. So we're gonna try that out, and I brought my homemade body armor, <coughs> which we know stops uh, uh, even 500 mag. So we're gonna try this with a 500 mag also, and then I'm gonna try my homemade armor. We brought a bunch of rifles and shit, so I'm gonna do some blasting and see what this uh, Amazon armor can do. It, it is like metal though. But like we were talking about earlier, there's uh, spalling would definitely be an issue. I think you get a hit there right up into the head. But we'll see. You know, we'll try her out. John just asked me, "Is that gonna bounce back?" It's like, this is a regular nine millimeter, 115 grain. And let's turn this on. That's not. You ever shot a gun forever? <laughs> a little bit of bulging yeah not too bad though right in the center so she took it it would you'd be totally fine you might be gasping for breath a little it did actually stop the spalling too you can see some of it in yep. here mm -hmm. yeah you can feel it up in here it did see told you all right <laughs> all right we'll just go with a 10 millimeter now The old Glockazine. Let's try it Definitely a lot harder, man. I think I saw some dirt splatter. Really? Try to hit it a little higher. Then she stopped it. It stopped. You can definitely feel like it would hurt, man. <laughs> it's deformed pretty good in the front. You, I don't know. You probably can't see there, but you can... I can see the dent, but it it took all the bullet. You can feel it in there. So, no? it's the uh, Talker Ev, as we all know, chambered in actual 762 by 25. Okay, he got it this time. He was trying to be cool. He just winged the very top of it. There you go, tactical brother. There we got it. Am I cool now? Oh yeah. It definitely hit hard. Nope, it stopped it. Wow. So yeah, you hit real right there. That's working pretty good, man. Yeah. Kind of amazed. All right, now we're gonna we we'll either do the 500 mag. We got a shotgun slug we want to try, and then we'll just step it up to the rifles too. Okay, what kind of gangster ass slug? Well, first of all, let's address this awesomeness here. He let his boy actually color on it. I love it. It's great, man. Color. If you remember the Hatson, that's what this is. <laughs> it is now the abomination. Yeah. And this is a wood glue slug okay. instead of a wax slug because wax likes to melt in cars and yeah, yeah. even gun cabinets. Yeah, true, true. The glue don't. And we'll see what it does with this. This these actually work pretty good. Ready? Oh yeah. Headshot. Well, you took out the water jug. I want to say you hit high there, John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he, he got it. It's just uh, the glue, I guess, didn't hold together or something because all the BBs. No, I, I hit the jug. Yeah. All the BBs come apart? I don't know. But look, it's all peppered, though. It might have broke up, but the main part of it did. The main it. part, yeah. Okay. Want to try it again? Yeah. All right, we'll try it again log to hit the plate this time when you're ready brother all right there you go, there you, go. <laughs> you definitely feel that one i don't know 
Yeah, like it's a. Uh... Did I even hit it? I don't know if it came up uh, up here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sorry. It dented the shit out of it. But if you would have got hit here, like you'd be okay. <laughs> so let's try a 500 mag. All right, so we got the 500 Magnum. We got some Underwood 350 grain. I do believe 350 grain jacketed hollow point. And let's see. I might pull that one out. One. Send it again. Yep. See what it did. It was warm. You sure you hit it? Yeah, you did. Right there. And it stopped. Yeah, and it didn't really even dent it that bad either. Jeez. I mean, them are hollow points, but. And uh, the spall coating, something else. I mean, it's... yeah. There's nothing ripping out of the sides other than what I ripped up with the shotgun. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Let's try some rifle rounds on it. something. Then we got the 450 Bushmaster. These are 300 grain uh, soft point, hollow point. So let's see what it does. We got my homemade armor and then uh, Amazon armor. Let's see what it did. Not gonna lie, I flinched. <laughs> oh, I think the bush mask. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> she tore it. will not protect you against bush masters. Look. That would hurt. <laughs> now, what about my armor? Ooh. Right there's the bullet. See, I told you it wasn't ricochet. Third in. <laughs> yep. Went through one plate and stopped on the second plate there. All right. He was worried about ricochets. I was like, trust me. <laughs> it's warm though, you can feel it. What is that? I can question you, but never doubt you. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So he has a seismic slug, 1100 grain, something like that, for the Amazonian body armor. Ready? Yep. Oh, come on, dude. I was high. Are you high? <laughs> no, I don't know. All right, so we just took a practice shot off camera, and John says with this stock and stuff, it sucks. These are like 1,100 grain uh, slugs. And so, we ready? Yep. Did you see that thing? <laughs> Dude, that thing's kick with this stock. I'm pretty sure like this is engraved <laughs> in my shoulder. Oh, it dented it. Yeah, you can, there's lead coming out the side. Jeez. Look at that. Right there. Ooh, oh, man. You <laughs> You're coughing up blood. Yeah. You you're, yeah, you're unconscious on that one. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Ooh. Hmm. <sighs> Ready? Yep. I'm not. <laughs> I aimed a little bit low, but I don't know. I don't Looks think like he hit it. it apart. Water jugs weakened. I must have uh, scooted under. Maybe not. Nah, I hit. Oh, I hit good. Ah. Jeez. It stopped it. In the first one, too. Yeah. Water jug got hit by something. No, nah, just, just from the hit. Yeah, it just split open. <laughs> yeah. This is literally just from the hit. It knocked it. Wow, when you look at that, though. These are. 175 pound zip ties, so it had some fucking energy behind her. All right. How much would have bet that every round I'm gonna shoot goes over? No. Yeah. Okay, so now we got some uh, 7.62 by 54 R's and 148 grain full metal jackets out of this good old beautiful hunk of a man and a Mosin. Yeah, right. You can shoot both of them. 
Okay, play it on the left first. Yeah, all right. Ready? Yep. <laughs> right through. Dude, yeah, you can feel that thing stand behind here when it fires. There's like no recoil. No, nah, it's a good. I love that gun, dude. There you go. Did you give me three because you knew I'd miss? No. <laughs> I don't think it went through. Or yeah, it did. Yeah, I say it definitely. There's no way. You can double check that, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, so yeah, you got a good center hit there. Definitely didn't make out the back, but I think it might have made it. I don't think it went through. That There's was a hole. The oh, shoot. Wait. Yeah, yeah, there is. Okay. It just went out through the uh, seismic slug hole right here. Ah. Oh, yeah, I can see it there in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's from the Bushmaster, but... Oh, yeah, the yeah. Bushmaster. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe if I shoot it high. You're high? Huh? Huh? Oh, no, look, it did. It went through this, too. Oh, it did? <laughs> yep. Dude, them, them bolts, uh, that caliber is no joke. It really penetrates stuff. But yeah, it went through... Yeah, let's see. I don't know, because, like, there's... We shoot this with something else before? No. Yeah. Because there's it. the hole, and then there's like an exit there. So it must have like one on one hell of a journey sideways. We'll cut it out. No, that's later. for something else. That's for whatever this was. No, that might have been it. Because I see something in there. Yeah. Well, we'll shoot it again. Alright. How about let's do this? <laughs> Whenever you're ready, brada. Try to aim to the left of that homemade one, just like left center, you know what I mean? Okay. Left center and fired. I think another zip tie off. Now we'll know for sure. Okay. It didn't go through. Almost did. Yeah, yeah, right there it is. <laughs> yep, there it is. So you'd be hurting. Yeah, you'd be okay. You'd feel it. it smells good. Yeah. So we'll try. Important to see now. Okay, I'm retarded, and this is shooting. Oh yeah, we're, I'm trying to tell you what we're doing. We are back to shooting homemade body armor and Amazonian armor. So we got this awesome, beautiful looking man with this AR-10 here. And we're going to see if it stops it. Holy zoomed <laughs> 20 fire. We were sighting in our guns and then, uh, yeah, it's better. Yeah, I think it, uh, it almost went the whole way through. Because <clears throat> this is... I think that's from it, ain't it? Because that's on the last plate there. Or was that? Do we mix That was the, the Mosin. Yeah, that's what I thought. We mixed the... Uh, there. Right there it is. Right where? Right there. Is that it? Yeah, right there. It's part of it. Still yeah. hot. Yeah, because that was an Amax, and they had that plastic piece in them. Yep. Oh, yeah. Still stop. So, we'll set it up, and we'll hit it with an elephant gun. Mm. There we go. Let's see if the Amazonian... Uh, armor will hold up 308 ready i guarantee it will yep now <laughs> you got the last one of the day we're gonna try some 500 grain some elephant rounds these are solid brass uh out of this beautiful 458 wind mag and I don't think it's going to go through, but it's definitely going to devastate it. What do you think, John? Oh, uh, it's going through. It might. I think it could. You ready? Yep. <laughs> okay, it didn't go through. <laughs> I love that gun, though. Shoot the Amazon. Okay. the Amazon for the guy coming up. Ready? Yep.
wonder if it has the same lady. I was shooting a refrigerator with my Silver Eagle with extended mags. She was up here doing stuff with the windmills. <laughs> oh yeah. Jeez. That, my friend, wouldn't save here from a 458. I was aiming a little bit low. I forgot that gun actually hits right where you aim. And so, it did hit low. So That's okay. part of it. Where at? Right there. Where at? This? Out here? Yeah. No. No. It's brass, remember? Yeah, I thought it was. It looked brass. Still went through there. That went through then. Yeah, it went. Yeah, went the whole way through. Damn. Huh. Sometimes that brass, like, it does penetrate or else it'll just. Oh, yeah, she kept on trucking. It kept going. Dug a trench and everything. Yep. Huh. Good deal. Well, there it is. Homemade armor versus Amazonian armor. Actually, like I said, for what he paid for this and stuff. That's not bad. I mean, if you needed something cheap, definitely three A. Yeah, and it's uh, it's pretty lightweight and everything. It's not bad, you know, if that's all you can afford or whatever. You know, just put it in there and at least protect you from something anyway. Better than nothing. Better than homemade shit too. <laughs> all right, that's it. Open it. Oh, well, there. So we was just opening it up here, and it actually did fairly good job. I mean. Definitely some kind of metal. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple bolts in there. Oh yeah. It's like nine millimeter. Uh, it's not bad though. Mm -mm. Huh. For the price that uh, I got for two plates, you can't really complain. Yeah. Hey, like I said, you know, if you're on a budget or something, man, yeah. you're better than nothing. I thought for sure the small cut, the this coating would have failed first. Yeah. No, they make it different know. sizes, or? Uh, they had the other one. I think it's like eight by six, and this is the ten by twelve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not bad. I mean, yeah. lightweight and works. So, good deal. There it is. Amazonian. <laughs>